It's Ron Brown with Tech for Seniors. Are your Chromebook settings confusing you? Let's look at this. Now you know the routine. If you like the video, click the like. And if you want to see more of these videos, please subscribe to the channel. As a retired physician, I've had to solve a lot of problems. Understanding the concept made solving the problem so easy. So today when we talk about Chromebook settings, I'm going to show you a problem and see if you can figure out the solution. Let's look at this. First thing I'd like to say is Chromebooks are fun and easy to use. But what we're going to explain today is the Chrome operating system and Chrome. What are these two? What is the Chrome OS and what is Chrome? When we talk about Chrome, we really talk about the Chrome browser, or we search Chrome. What are we talking about? This is the browser called Chrome. Now, Chrome is worldwide is used by about 85% of the people. Two billion people every day use a Chrome browser. Now, on your Chromebook, your Chrome browser is your workspace, just like on a PC, Windows is your workspace, or on a Mac, the Mac OS is your workspace. On a Chromebook, the Chrome browser is your workspace. Now, the other thing about the browser is it can be synced to a Windows PC, an Apple device, or a Linux machine. So basically, you can take your workspace of your Chromebook and you can work on it on a PC, a Mac, or Linux. Cool, eh? Chrome is updated on a daily basis. My current Chrome browser on my PC is Chrome version 92.0. Now, what is the Chrome OS? Well, this is the operating system, and this is resident on your Chromebook. This is what makes your Chromebook run. This powers your Chromebook. And it is usually about one month behind in updates from the Chrome browser. But the browser that you're going to use, the Chrome browser on your Chromebook, of course, will be built into the operating system. So it's common to see that the version of the Chrome operating system is not the same as your Chrome browser, which you would see on a PC. Now, the version often is about one or two months behind, but that's changing over the last few years, and it's getting shorter and shorter and shorter, the difference between the Chrome browser version number and the Chrome operating system version number. Now, you have to remember that the operating system is rolled out to many machines at the same time. So not everybody is getting the same version at the same time. So this occurs over time. On my Chromebook, my operating system currently is version 91.0. Remember in my Chrome browser, it was 92. So they're not always the same. Now the thing to remember about your Chrome operating system is that there are two copies on your Chromebook. There is a secondary copy, and that's the copy that is updated on a regular basis. There are constantly updates coming in, and that updates the secondary copy. Now, the nice thing about that is it's never going to bother you because you're using the primary copy. But when you're not looking, they're going to switch the copies for you and then you'll get the one with all the latest updates. Now, how they switch that when you're not looking, that's when you turn your machine off, and that's called a reboot. Now, if you do like I do at the end of the day, I just close the lid on my Chromebook and put it down beside my chair. This just puts it into sleep mode, and it will never update. You actually have to turn the machine off for it to reboot and have the new version of the operating system installed. Now, if you do shut it down every night, then this is all automatic and you don't need to do anything because the updating is all done automatically. When you reboot your computer, your Chromebook switches the 
uh, the, the existing primary copy for the secondary copy and it gets all the updates. If you never reboot, then you probably should do a manual update like I do. Let me show you how to do this. Now you'll see as we come along here in the screen, you'll see that we're coming over and we're going to come down to About Chrome OS. And when we click on that, we see here, Check for Updates. Watch what happens when I click the button. It goes out and checks and of course it tells me that my version of the Chrome OS is up to date at version 91. Now what do you need to know about settings? Well, in the beginning, the settings between Chrome and your Chrome operating system were very different. So, uh, this is back when Chromebooks first started to appear. They had a totally different menu system in the operating system than the Chrome browser. Not related. The menu structure was totally different. But today, the settings between Chrome and the Chrome operating system are very, very similar, if not the same. And your Chrome browser on your Chromebook is integrated into the Chrome operating system. And today, Google strives to make everything as a common menu that looks the same. But remember, things are changing. So on the 17th of July, 2021, the Chrome version number is as follows. On my PC, my Google Chrome browser's version was 92.0. On my Chromebook, which is a Pixel Chromebook, the Chrome operating system was 91.0. This would also be the version of the Chrome browser since the two are integrated on my Chromebook. So they are different between different devices. Now on your Chromebook, you're probably wondering what version of the operating system are you running? Let me show you how to find out. Let's look at uh, coming up and clicking on the settings icon. This is going to bring up a window. We're going to come down to the left and we're going to click About Chrome OS. And here it will bring up the menu. We've seen this menu before when we checked for updates, but here it tells you what the version is. And again, you can click on that and that will tell you uh, if there's any updates for you. That's how you find your version number of your Chrome operating system. Now, on your PC, how do you find the Chrome version number of your Chrome browser? Let me show you how to do this. We're going to come up to the three-dot menu on the, uh, in your browser. We're going to come down to Settings. And in Settings, we're going to come down to About Chrome. And here you'll see uh, the version of your Chrome browser is right here. Now in this video, I want to show you how to find the settings in Chrome, in your Chrome browser. Let's look at this. We're going to come up to the top right corner in our browser, and you'll see the little three-dot menu on the right side. We're going to click on that three-dot menu, and this is going to bring us up to this menu. We're going to come down, and this is where you'll see your settings menu. So click this and that's going to open up settings. Now remember we're in our Chrome browser, but you'll be amazed at how much this looks like your Chrome OS settings as well. Interesting, eh? So let's see how do we find the settings in our Chrome operating system on our Chromebook. Let's have a look. Here we are. We're going to come down to the right-hand corner. We're going to click the bar and come up and you'll see the settings menu here. Click the settings menu and this will bring you into settings. Again, very similar to the Chrome browser. 
So on your Chromebook, you can access settings through your Chrome browser, or you can access settings through the Chrome operating system. So two places on your Chromebook, you can find settings. Now, are they the same? Or are they different? And why would you use one versus another? So let's look at that and try and figure that out. So what you need to know is that first the settings are very similar and they're interrelated. And over time, Google has tried to make them the same. But at present, they're somewhat different. And we're going to talk about that in a minute. And again, this varies depending on what model of Chromebook you have and what version of the Chrome operating system that you're using. So here's the problem. I just sh have shown you a video on how to change the download directory on your Chromebook. This is a video I did about two years ago. If you watch the video now and tried to follow along, you'd say, Ron, it doesn't make sense. What you said isn't there. I can't see it in the settings menu. You try to follow the video, but you can't find it in the menu. So after watching this video that I'm making, you are a pro and you can solve this problem. Let's look at how we'll do that. So this is my Chromebook and this is my menu. And let's try to change the download directory following the video you just saw. Let's try and do that now. So here we go. We're going to come down to the uh, menu. We're going to open up uh, the settings menu on our Chrome OS. And we're going to come down. Remember I said it's in the advanced section. So we're going to come down to the advanced section. And we're going to look for it. We're going to click advanced. And this is where you can change your download directory. It's not there. There's nothing in the advanced section that allows you to change your download directory as I sh have shown you in the video that was made two years ago. It's not there. So how would you tackle this problem? Let's think about that. Remember, now I've shown you there are two places on your Chromebook that there are settings. So if you can't find it in the Chrome OS settings, Let's go to the Chrome browser settings and see if we can find it. So here we are, and let's look in the Chrome browser setting on our Chromebook and see what's there. So we're going to come up to the three-dot menu in our browser. We're going to come down to settings. And we're going to come down to advanced. Remember I said it was in the advanced. And we're now on our Chrome browser settings. And we're going to click on the advanced. And now we see the downloads. Click on downloads. And now we have change location on our Chromebook. It got moved. It's Let's click the change, and here we are. You can change the download directory as I described in the video. Well, in summary, are Chromebook settings confusing you? Today you've learned that in, on your Chromebook, there are actually two areas you can look at settings. One is within your Chrome browser, and the other was in the Chrome operating system. Now, while Google strives to make both these exactly the same, they are a little bit different. And things are changing. So you will have to look in both places to find what you're looking for. And that today is the takeaway message, is that you have to look at both places because it is changing. It is not just different with the version of the operating system, but it's also different on different models of Chromebooks. We did a test here at Tech for Senior and we took about six Chromebooks. We found that the change download feature that we looked at today was different 
on certain Chromebooks, irrespective of the version number. It's Ron Brown with Tech for Senior. If you like this video, please click the like, and we'd sure appreciate it if you'd subscribe to the channel. Till we see you again, have a great day.